Hey guys, it's Woody. Lefty wasn't able to make Painkiller already this weekend. He told me in advance, he did his thing, he has a wedding to go to. I tried like later Friday night, Saturday, but it turns out he's busy for the entire weekend because of this wedding. These things happen. Uh, wings died again. These things are difficult to plan for. So um, it was just Kyle and I sort of waiting around for Wings to revive uh, for a couple of hours. In the end, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a 10-minute dual con with Kyle. We'll talk about the Xbox and such. And it just kept going and going and going until it became what I'm going to call Painkiller Already 136 and a half. So um, there isn't any video to go with it. It was just a Skype call that I recorded. And I thought, you know what? I'll stick some Warframe gameplay on it. Link in the description if you're interested. And we'll call it Painkiller Already 136 and a half. I'm sorry it wasn't the official, you know, Painkiller that you're used to. But it was the best that Kyle and I could do under the circumstances. I hope that you enjoy it. Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm here with FPS Kyle. What's up? So I thought first we'd explain the lack of PKA this weekend, and then we'd go in and talk about consoles. <sighs> All right, so you went out on the town last night. You had you had a prior engagement. You gave us warning. You, mm -hmm. you let us know that you were going to have to be out last night, and you asked us all if it would be okay to do the show today, uh, which is Saturday, this, the 8th, at 10 a.m. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. I, I can get up that early. That's not that crazy. And uh, and Lefty was down too, but then what, Lefty well, I, had an, so, an engagement with a. Yeah, Lefty ahead. was wasn't down. Lefty couldn't make it last night, which was our normal recording uh, time, or this morning. He's going to a wedding this weekend. Lefty's been very reliable. He had a wedding this weekend. Life happens. So. But Wings was supposed to be here um, at 10 a.m. By the way, it's 1 p.m. now. We've, we've been, been waiting for here. three hours. We've been waiting for three hours. Um, <laughs> sitting here and uh wings is still slumbering i, like to <laughs> I think that wings slumbers wings there's... doesn't sleep he slumbers <laughs> he hibernates at, at 10 a.m i saw that he had tweeted three hours ago i was like there's no way he got up at seven he stayed uh -huh. up till seven that's what happened a.m yeah. this is so um and i'll or... say this though i stayed up until four this morning i i, I went to sleep at 4 a.m probably actually went unconscious, you know, at 4.30 a.m., however long it takes to go to sleep. And then I got up at 10, you know, I got up, alarm went off, I got my ass out of bed. So uh, Lefty had a wedding to go to, and Wings died again. These things can't be planned for. Yep. So what you're getting instead is this dual com. Yes, that's <laughs> what we're going to make happen for you. And we're going to talk about what everyone wants to talk about. Console wars. Console wars. So I had this theory that... Xbox One versus PS4 was a little bit like YouTube drama in that I feel like everyone's being like shepherded, shepherded and trained to hate the Xbox One. Like this is a horrible, terrible thing. Don't you realize what they're doing to you? I'm going to quote unquote expose the Xbox One for its terribleness. When in reality, I think it's only half true, but there's some truth to it. There is some truth to it. And I think there's, there's also a point of view difference. So you and I talked about this. We we don't trade our games in. It's it's stupid to trade your games in, by the way, guys. Guys, they give you shit for they it. They give you like a quarter for your game. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I don't I, understand I wanna, this used yeah, game market. I want to throw the quarter at them afterwards. Just be like, you fucker. And then yeah, keep call it, it good. Just keep it. I'm, yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I would much rather have a service where that's what someone needs to do. They need to open up a nonprofit service where you donate your games and then they, like, I don't know, they give them to, the, like, kids who can't afford fucking video games or something. I'd rather do that. A library. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. So. <laughs> such a smart so, ass. So that doesn't affect me. But maybe it affects some of these people who are, who are you know, shepherding people to hate the Xbox. Maybe, like, their thing is used games. Maybe their thing is every Saturday they go to their buddy's house and everybody, you know, gets around an Xbox. That's just not how I play games. What upsets me about Xbox is two things. One, it's still the Kinect. I'm sorry, but yeah. the fact she even ships the Xbox, I don't like it. They're telling me we can disable it. I don't, but they're fucking liars. But it's I, creepy, right? We were talking creepy. about this earlier, and you were so I have an Xbox in my living room, right? And we're like watching Netflix, but it's watching us too. Every mm -hmm. so often when we talk, it thinks we were talking to it and like pauses it or for, fast forwards or whatever, and it like. Like you were saying, we don't actually believe that there's rows and rows of people in white lab coats watching us all through our connect, but yeah. it feels like you're being listened to by this stupid freaking thing, and you can't turn it off. Well, actually, I read that there is a software setting where you can have it not listen to you if you trust that. 
Yeah, I, I just don't <laughs> care for it. And I have this suspicion that if you put a piece of tape, this was my plan. I was like, I'm going to put a fucking piece of tape over that little eyeball that's that at all seeing eye since now like Sauron is living in my living room. <laughs> I'm going to put some duct tape over this thing and fuck it. But I bet it's going to be like, you know, connect view, connect view eye is obstructed. Please yeah. remove to continue your play session. It's like, you know, that's I, I, I am I am 80 percent in the PlayStation uh, nation right now. I have always, always supported Xbox throughout hardware issues when they, the red brings to death. I was like, fuck it. I'll buy another because it's a superior console. It just is. It has better online service. It's better for the games that I play. It's the Xbox 360 matches the kind of gamer that I am much better than the, what the PlayStation 3 does. Yeah, and I've talked about this at length. The Xbox 360 helps me a lot with problems that are unique to being a popular YouTuber. You know, things like too many messages, friend requests, playing with people who aren't on your friends list, like pro- like the quote unquote YouTube problems. Xbox 360 solves them, whereas the PS3 doesn't. But that's last gen. Next gen will be a whole new story, I suppose. Yeah. Next gen, I I, I I gotta agree with you. I think PlayStation is gonna, or Sony, I guess I should say, is gonna fix the the issues that they've had. <laughs> mm-hmm. Xbox seems to be adding problems. Recording games, right? So, the PS3 was stupid about copyright protection, and it just put it on everything, even games. Whereas the 360 was smart, only put it on like Netflix and Go. Because the PS4 has a recorder inside it. I have to assume they're going to get clever about it and only put copyright protection on the things that should have it, like Netflix. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So the only thing that has, the only thing that keeps me somewhat in the Xbox court is the controller. That stupid fucking PlayStation controller. It just doesn't fit my hands. I the only reason you hate the X, the PS3 controller is because you're not nine. It, yeah, or or a <laughs> tiny Asian girl. It really, I, I, you, Wings is always like, it fits my hands perfect. Have you shaken that guy's hand? He's got little hands. Does I, he? Yeah, he's got little hands. He's at, he'll, he'll admit to it. Go watch his old, like, uh, he did like a controller review one time. He's got very small, delicate hands. Huh. I have really big hands. Like, my fingers alone are like three and a half inches long, four inches long. That My hands are really long and they wrap all the way around these controllers. Like, I can hold a basketball with one hand, but I've got big hands. So the Xbox fits my hands really well. The Sony controller, my fingers wrap so far around that my pink, the, like the, the, the muscle in the bottom of your palm, like the one kind of connected to your pinky, it gets these horrible cramps after playing for 45 minutes. And I can play Xbox, and I've done this, sad to say, for eight fucking hours. <laughs> and I'm still going. My eyes are burning. My eyes are burning, but I'm still playing. I I'm remember still getting headshots. This is years ago. I'm like, my problem is I get headaches when I'm playing. And you're like, Woody, you noob. It's like you gotta keep your ibuprofen right next to the, the gaming station. And then you do this. That's yeah, the ibuprofen, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna be hardcore about gaming, if you're really into FPSs, then you know, you're gonna have those five, six hour sessions where you get headaches. I mean you got your asterisk cranked to the max. There's Explosions going off next to your head. You gotta have some ibuprofen. Exactly. Next to you. you can't hear footsteps in the rain on COD Four unless you're willing to suffer through the bullet fire. Absolutely. I'll <laughs> shoot you through the wall. You won't even know how it happened. Exactly. But, but by the time we're older, we can't hear it all. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> so, um, oh, oh, one thing about the PS4 that has me excited: keyboard and mouse. Man, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, keyboard and mouse. So. Uh, Everybody always likes to twist our words, right? So they always want to say, "Oh, you're an, you're you only like the Xbox because you're an Xbox fanboy, dude." I'm, I'm I'm 27 years old. I'm not a fanboy anymore. I don't fanboy over anything. There's no product that owns my allegiance. No product owns my allegiance. At Coca-Cola, I like it better than Pepsi. But if suddenly I don't know, it didn't taste as good. I'm a Pepsi guy. I like whatever tastes good. So. I like the Xbox because it's better. It's better suited for me. Right now, I'm starting to lean toward the uh, the PlayStation because the keyboard and mouse thing is, is is a big part of it. And, and what I, what I was getting at is the, the 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 PC guys always are like, you know, we we're better. We got this. We know, we know you're better. We know that you got better graphics. Your your games are cheaper, and you've got keyboard and mouse. 
We just prefer the community of the console. But if I can bring the control of the keyboard and mouse to the community of the console and have my headset, I, I, I don't see how you can't just go with a PlayStation 4 and say, fuck Microsoft. And, and one thing that's... Like, what I like about the keyboard and mouse of the PS4... Imagine I played COD, keyboard and mouse, all the time, right? I think I'd develop the keyboard and mouse skills to be good at all kinds of PC games, too. Like, I'm playing Warframe right now. I, this might even be to Warframe. We, I didn't pick the game for this yet. But um, I'm playing Warframe lately. And, you know, I'm not a pro with the keyboard and mouse. Sometimes I need to look at the freaking R to reload because I, you know, mishit it or something like that. If I played keyboard and mouse all the time, then I could bounce back and forth from the PS4 to the PC daily and never have a problem. And that's attractive to me. Whereas my current world has a different control setup for every platform, and it's hard for me to be good at all of them. Yeah. That's... It's... I, I, I don't understand how people transition so well from the Xbox to the PlayStation controller. Once again, I, I, I some people some people just don't have the issue that I have. I, and yeah. I, it's... It, it's a few different things. One, the I hate to keep hating on this controller. I feel like I, I <laughs> it's it's getting redundant, but I really despise it. It's the sensitivity. It's the um, the inline sticks, the buttons, the every button on it. I, I I hate the PlayStation controller with all that I with all that I am. I, feel, I like feel like my problems with the PS3 controller are the like half of it is that maybe it's smaller and it's not perfect for my hands. My hands aren't huge. I I like your basketball thing. I can palm a basketball for about a second or two, and then I lose the grip. So that's my hand size, if that helps any of you. But um, the other problem, I think the other half of my PS3 issue is that I'm just not that practiced at it. Like, it, I'll, I remember I played Modern Warfare 3 on the PS3 last year, and I um, I'm, I earned a care package, and then I'm, like, throwing grenades instead of calling in a care package. Clearly, that's me. Right, that's not a, a controller fault. That's the fact that I got all confused about the D-pad or something. Like I'm, I just, I was stupid. But yeah, I still don't like it as much. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm fifty-fifty on these two things. One of the things that gives me hope for the Xbox One is it's a paid service, and by virtue of being a paid service, which is only worth it if you play a lot of games, is it tends to get other stuff too that's hard to quite quantify, it, like. The dashboard was updated several times through, whereas the PS3 dashboard just kind of stayed where it was. Um, new services came to it much faster. They had an exclusive deal with Netflix for a long time, whereas the PS3 didn't play Netflix movies, the Xbox did. And now there's a bunch of other stuff. I can't name them all. I'm afraid I'll get something wrong. But Xbox, like, uh, Call of Duty exclusives. Call Duty, I was headed to that too, right? It gets COD a month early. You know, how, how does that happen? It's because Microsoft pays off Activision, and they ha they get that money from Xbox Live, you know, so that's yeah. the deal. You know, they they get everything early because we're paying monthly for this stuff. And when I look at the next gen consoles, it's like, all right, so what do we got out there? Um, it looks like the PS4 controller is a little bit bigger and a little like a halfway point between the previous controllers, and that makes me happy. It looks like they're going to be a little less Big Brother. They won't have a freaking Kinect watching you all the time. That makes me PS4 happy. But history tells me that Microsoft reinvests that live money back into the service, and that might make it pretty good. Yeah, that's good. that's a really good point. I don't want to be waiting three months for the maps. I don't want to be doing that. It's ridiculous. It, yeah, I think it's one month, but it feels like three. <laughs> it yeah. feels like three. Yeah, by the time you get the maps, like they're old. Yeah, especially as a as a YouTuber, which I am, and I know you're going to open a gaming channel soon. Like. You know, you can't be a month late on that stuff. Like, White Boy, for example, is a PS3 guy in his heart, but he has to play Xbox to get the new maps and stuff. So, you know, yep. otherwise he'll fall behind the pack. I might just buy both. I'm buying uh, both. I'm buying a couple of both. I have a, <laughs> I'll have an Xbox downstairs, upstairs, PS4 is upstairs, downstairs. We, we'll load this shit, stuff up, man. We'll, we'll get it done. Uh, uh, man, I'll buy I, both. It's so ugly, too. It's so hideous. That's the... I, I gotta say. I, man, the Xbox... I'm looking at my Xbox 360 right now, and I've got a fat PlayStation 3. And they're... Even the flat, the fat PlayStation 3, they're beautiful. They're curvy. They've got... I don't know. They're cool-looking devices. And this Xbox One is just... It looks like a VCR. It really does. Yeah, I agree with everything you said, 
but like to me it's very different than a car like i don't really care what my xbox looks like it plays a very small role in my buying decision but wouldn't you prefer it if it were sleeker if it was really cool and i, I don't would know, like a, but like, like a, a car graphite thing, case what a car looks like is like a third of my buying decision maybe a half like i really want it to be attractive to my eye what an appliance looks like or at least an electronic appliance is very unimportant to me like a, better is better so better looking is better but if the Xbox came out and it was literally – it was, like, fashioned to look like a cardboard box, I'd be like, oh, whatever. I don't care. I wish <laughs> yeah, I, I wish it were wooden or something. I, 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 Ooh, I'd anything. like that. <laughs> That'd be so badass. Right? Like a nice cherry. But, yeah, yeah, anything. But it's just hideous. It's so big. Yeah. I, I think what I'm getting at here is I like Xbox. I like Microsoft. I like my experiences with them thus far. Even with the hardware issues, I don't give a shit. Everybody's bitched and moan about that. Dude, you you get Red Ring of Death, you'd send them an Xbox, they'd send you a new one two weeks later. That's a decent service. And I never had a Red... My Xbox is on probably on average 23 hours a day. Like, that thing never turns off. I turn... Like, I go on vacation, I leave it on. It's always on. And it's always lived in its life stuffed in some, like, electronics cabinet next to a bunch of other heat-producing devices. And it is, I think, four years old, and it's still chugging away. I've never had a red ring. I've never done anything to help it not get a red ring. I just abuse it all the time. And it You've got the going. Elite, though. I do. That's the issue. So the the Elites never really had this issue, if, I'm, if I remember my facts correctly. Um, but I had three of the, I don't know, whatever the level below the Elite is, I had three of those get red ring of death. Um, the three red rings, and I had um, one of them get the white, the uh, a single ring, and then recently I had a power cable go out. So I've been through like five Xboxes, I'm gonna say, and now I've got an oh. Elite. So I've had. That's a I've thing, got, though. Like if I had been through five Xboxes, that would in, didn't bother impact. Me. It didn't bother. It wouldn't. I think it would bother me. But for for mine, dude, I don't. know. It just keeps going. My Xbox has been 100 percent reliable. It just keeps going. Yeah, it, I have no, you know, issues like that when they come out and they're like, hey, we fucked up. We're going to give you a free one every time this happens. We fucked up. We're sorry. And I understand that, that that it's a business and that there's, you know, millions and millions of dollars involved and they just fucked up. I get it and I forgive them. But when th this is so premeditated with some of the things that I just don't like, I do not like this connect thing. And everyone is rebelling against the connect thing. It seems so obvious that everybody's creeped out by this all knowing, all watching <laughs> eye. I don't know why they don't just, like, make a cheaper model and get rid of the Connect. I hear you. I hear you. I, I probably still wouldn't get it. I feel like I owe it to my subscribers to know what's up with the Connect, but I don't want it. I don't think... I don't know. I, sometimes we, we play dance games and stuff and had fun, but I, I just want to turn it off. I don't want to have to have it looking at me all the time. I, I was going to say... Oh, oh, the used game thing. Like, I started to talk and compare the console wars to youtube drama and how people are being the use game thing man like so microsoft has added an option to allow game developers not to allow resale or charge for resale like that that's the deal microsoft has now said all right activision if you don't want to participate in the used games market you don't have to or if you want to get five dollars for every new user of your game you know like this is like by new user i mean every time it passes hands from the first buyer to the second buyer to the third um, you can charge them whatever, five bucks, 15 bucks, whatever you think is fair. And everyone is railing on Microsoft about it. And I think they just opened up an option, you know, buy your games accordingly. It's, I interpret it as Microsoft's attempt to be developer friendly, right? So both Microsoft and Sony are trying to get developers to prefer them. They're trying to make it easy to develop for their platforms, cheap to develop for their platforms. They're trying to bring lots and lots of customers to those platforms. And one of the ways that they're making themselves attractive to a developer is saying, look, if you don't like the used game market, if that hurts you, if you feel like people buy your game and then six customers play it, but you've only had one sale, then you can charge, you know, whatever, five bucks every time it passes hands. And everybody's mad at Microsoft for creating that option. But to me, it's the developers that choose to employ it or not. Absolutely. I have no problem with DRM. These people who are complaining about DRM, they, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with DRM. It, it, the only problem with DRM is when it creates a problem for non-pirates. Like yes. SimCity is my favorite example. That thing released, 
And for a week or so, the servers that checked to make sure you were legit were down. So you bought this game and couldn't play it. You couldn't play it because of the DRM wouldn't let you play because they had not prepared themselves to whatever, you know, push out that kind of, uh, you know, to handle all the sales for their game. You know, that was a problem with with uh, with Call of Duty for a while. You know, I remember with Modern Warfare 2, they were not prepared with that. Servers were really messed up. Right. It and wasn't DRM, but it was like matchmaking and stuff. And it was yes. Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1 had that problem. Um even now, like it seems like if you try to join game, even today, if I have a party of six and I try to jump into Black Ops 2 lobby, there's a good chance people will drop off and we'll have we'll have to make a couple attempts to get in there. That's going to be fixed next generation with Xbox, though. That's one. That's one of the other good things. Apparently, their their number of servers is expanding like ex- literally exponentially. I believe. Yeah, it is outrageous. I'm going to make up numbers, but just roll with me in that they're in the ballpark. There were something like 15,000 servers serving Xbox 360, and 15,000. It's going to be something like 600,000 for the Xbox One. And there's a rumor that every game will have dedicated servers. That's pretty, Every multiplayer uh... game. Yeah, and I, it was like a legit site. I, I, I made a video on it a while ago, but it was like IGN or Wired or something. It was Wired. It was Wired Magazine, Wired.com who said that every game was going to have dedicated servers, every multiplayer game. And um, that's a legit... Like, if you don't know Wired.com, they're a reputable source. So mm-hmm. uh, th- that's exciting to me. And if, if, like... Dude, that could be a difference maker. If the PS4 rolls out and it's peer-to-peer and you're counting on some guy's DSL line to, to host the game, and then Xbox rolls out and there's dedicated servers, then that's a difference maker. Okay, so here are the actual numbers I've got in front of me. Um, when, the, when, the, when they launched the Xbox Live in 2002, it was powered by 500 servers. With the advent of the 360, that had grown to over 3,000. Today, 15,000 servers power the modern Xbox Live experience. Next year, 300,000. So give those last two one. numbers again. Was it 15 grand to 300 grand? Yes, we are jumping 20 fold. Wow. Yeah, 20 fold. That's mm-hmm. that's huge. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the, my numbers were, I guess, proportionally close, but yeah, whatever. Perfect. Um, yeah. So, if there's dedicated servers for every multiplayer game on the Xbox One, then you know the PS4 is going to have a hard time competing with that. And then again, the difference in there, the reason why Microsoft is hosting, did you say three hundred thousand? That's such a big three hundred thousand. Yes. The reason Microsoft's hosting 300,000 servers for this thing is because there's a monthly fee. You know, Sony is not a profitable company. For people that don't know, Sony doesn't make money. That's that's the deal. They're losing money every quarter. Um, they may have made money one quarter because they sold off some piece of their company, but that's that's not how you make money. You don't <laughs> you know you don't sell away your business to make money on it. Um, anyway, Sony's losing money. They need this thing to work for them. And if they don't charge anything for PSN, they can't do things like run 300,000 servers to fuel the experience. Yeah, I'm curious how many PSN servers there are. I am too. I am too. So, I, I, is it bad form to Google it during this? Because commentary is kind of free form, right? It almost feels yeah. like PKA. <laughs> a little bit. A little uh, bit. We don't have wings jumping in with, with some outrageous stuff, though. I'd like. To, he, he's getting a PlayStation, right? I predict he'll get both. I think he said he was getting. I think he said he was just getting a PlayStation. Really? I don't know. I once again, my position is this: I the the Xbox makes for a better online experience, and but the but they're just assholes. Yes. They're just, Yes, right. It it feels like and Sony's marketing is really funny, and the way they're poking fun at, at Microsoft, and they're they're like, our console does that too, but it mostly just plays games. Our I, console you, plays games. Um, I feel like when Sony did their reveal, I thought it was bad. You know, they had a bunch of people presenting in English that barely spoke English, and that to me is kind of a a basic mistake, like a rookie. Like, come on, man, you know, get people like. Was it Kevin Butler? Was that a hilarious PlayStation guy? Was that his name? I think so. He used to be like, you know, so we're introducing the move. 
you know, casual gamers are going to have a good time. But that's not bad for you hardcore gamers. If casual gamers have a hot girlfriend and hardcore gamers have a hot girlfriend, we all have hot girlfriends. This is good news. And it was like, oh, I love this guy, right? You know, he's saying what I'm thinking. Like, it, it doesn't bother me that they threw some extra resources and, and created something for casual gamers, too. That was good presentation. But when Sony did its PS4 reveal, it wasn't good. But when Microsoft did their Xbox One reveal, it made the PS4 one look good. Microsoft hit new lows that I didn't know people could hit. It sucked so hard. I wish it was my girlfriend. I don't know where I'm going with that. So I'm waiting for the TV commercials. I I bet Microsoft is going to have some great... I'm looking forward to... All right, so have you seen the PlayStation commercials where you have, like, all the characters from, like, the big PlayStation games? Like, you've got um, Kratos from uh, God of War, War, and you've got, like, Snake, and you've got all those guys, like, hanging out together and, like, fighting and stuff. I want that from Microsoft. I want them to, like, to have, like, Master Chief, and I want them to have, you know, all their, all their their big names, like, you know... Some some kind of mashup commercial like that pushing the Xbox. And My, I want Microsoft's going to gonna fail so hard in their advertising. Here's what I predict. <sighs> I predict they do something very Apple-like, where they advertise without showing off what's good about the product, right? Like when Apple sells an iPod, remember they used to have those dancing silhouettes against the colorful backgrounds? Yeah. So there'd be like an attractive silhouette of a girl... And the iPod would be very clearly on her hip and in her ears. And then the background would just flash like pink and yellow and bright green and stuff. It's it, it worked for Apple, I guess. It made people want an iPod. But I don't think it will work for gamers. I don't think they can just say like something concepty about the Xbox and make people choose it over the PS4. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I I predict Microsoft not I I, pre- I predict the the, uh, the PlayStation now selling the Xbox. I'm oh, it's really close right now. People don't know, and the reason that it's close is that Microsoft completely fails in Asia, which which is a on a side note a cultural thing. Like Americans don't have an American bias very much. Like when when I choose my phone between Samsung and Apple. I picked a Samsung this time. I have the S4 for people who care. And if I was in Japan, I think I would very clearly choose a Japanese alternative. I know Samsung's Korean, but roll with me here. Whereas, like, you know, the American equivalent would buy only Apple, but we don't do that. We look at Xbox, like an American product, and a PS4, which is a Japanese product, and we don't really... Discriminate. Discriminate based on that. And, um... Uh, or, you know, like you can look at it, you can say discriminate, you can say we don't have loyalty, you can spin it any way you want to. But the PS4 does better because it's like 100% in Asia, whereas uh, the Xbox kind of has to, I want to say, earn it against customers that don't discriminate. Yeah. So, yeah, it, like we would need 100% in whatever, Europe or something, to counter that, and we don't get it, right? It's mixed everywhere. And because of that, it's even. But Microsoft does a little better outside of Asia than the PS4 does. That was Do we know what the PS4 looks like? No. No, we don't. It Wait doesn't. on that. I want to see it. To me, it's an essential part of a good presentation. But uh, you know, it's not critically important to me. I'll, I will say this. If the PS4 is markedly sleeker, if it's cool looking it definitely outsells that Xbox because if, if if you're getting down to like to people who are going to buy this thing as like so they sold a lot of PS3s because it was a cheap it was the cheapest Blu-ray player on the market. Mm-hmm. You could either buy like a Samsung Blu-ray player for like $650 or you could buy a PS3 for like 500. And it was like it's a no-brainer. I can get this one and my kids now ha- you know will stop right. pestering me for, for for a video game system. It made so much sense. I think this time around, since Xbox, you know, there isn't that exclusivity with Blu-ray, you're going to have the parent, you know, the, the person who's not a gamer, who's buying an entertainment console, and they're going to be like, that thing looks like a fucking VCR, and this thing looks like it came out of Tron. This looks like Captain Picard's console. They're going to buy the better looking console, and it's not hard to be a better looking. Mm-hmm. I can't think of an uglier, I'm, I'm being honest. <coughs> There is the ugliest gaming console ever made. I think is the current is the Xbox One. 
it's 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 literally a square box. That's all it is. <laughs> it's 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 so uncreative and so anti I don't know, <laughs> sleek. It's pathetic. I find I, I, your I, hate for the design of the Xbox One entertaining. Like, <laughs> dude, there were so many cool concepts. There were like these 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 really flat, thin things with like I don't know contours. I, I can't. It's a difficult. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the PS4 is not smaller than the Xbox One, right? And, oh. and you can be attractive without being smaller. But here's the thing, the CPU runs at 2 gigahertz and the Xbox One runs at 1.6. Things got to be hotter. The GPU on it, and I know they're one APU unit for you nerds, but work with me here. The the GPU on it is rumored to either be a little bit faster, 1.8 teraflops versus 1.72, or a lot faster, 1.8 versus 1.2 teraflops. So the PS4 might be notably faster in the graphics department. You can't generate that much more power without heat and if you're going to have heat you can't put it in a tiny box so i i think the ps4 if it's going to be good looking it has to figure out a way to be fat and good looking yeah they'll just water cool that motherfucker it'd be nice (laughs) water cooling usually has maintenance nah it'll be good (laughs) <laughs> well, if you say so, I, I bow down to your technical prowess. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. To, on how to cool this thing while keeping it tiny and have water in it that doesn't run out. And it can be big, but put some curves on it. You know, nobody wants big and square. Little That's Kim literally Jackson, right? Yeah, absolutely. You Make it shape think... like ass cheeks, and I will buy it. <laughs> uh... Um, so I'm trying to think, what else is everyone hating about on the One? There's the use game thing, there's the connect thing, which I agree on. The Oh, the you can share it with your friends, but they have to be your friends on, on your friends list for a month. And then makes if you sense. do that, you can lend it to them. And they're, yeah, that makes sense. It, yeah, I, I don't know, kind of. Like, I can see how it could be a problem, but whatever. Uh, if your friends come over to your house... They can play it to their heart's content. So it's locked to both your gamer tag and your console. And when it, if it's locked to your console, everyone can play it. Your whole family can play it on their own gamer tags. Your friend can come over, use the cloud, use his gamer tag. He can play it. If it's all, if he's coming over, it's a party. Everybody's good. If you're going to his house, he has to be your friend for a month. I have no issue with that because I've never done that before. <laughs> yeah, I've literally never. But I'm a grown up, right? If I was in middle school. I could totally see bringing my game to your house and playing. And it'll work. We just have to be on your friends list for a month. I guess so. I'm trying to think of anything else that's supposedly wrong with uh, with the Xbox. Yeah. I want to do it too. We have silence. But this is a long commentary. I still endure a little bit of silence. Um, There's the use game thing. There's the connect thing. There's... The backwards compatibil- compatibility oh. pisses me off. That's that's gay. Yeah, what... I, I don't. Why couldn't they do that? Why won't they do that? So now I, I'm I'm glad now that I, I so I own um I've got my Xbox 360 that I've had for a long time and like I mentioned earlier the the power cable went out on it it went bad so I bought a second Xbox just for the power cable. And my intention was to return, to take my bad power cable, put it in the box, return the whole thing, get my money back. But now that I'm going to need a 360, if, you know, forever now, apparently, Mm -hmm. if I want to play games like Black Ops 2 or Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever, yeah, if you ever want to play the Gears of War series again, you got to have an Xbox 360. If you ever want to play any of the current Halo, current or past Halo or Call of Duty or any pat any current Xbox game, you're gonna need a 360. I'm trying to about backwards compatibility. Did the 360 have it when it first dropped? Yes. Yeah. And the PS3 had it, but then they got rid of it when they switched to the Slim, right? That I don't know because I've never. I, I just don't play my my PlayStation is literally a Blu-ray player. I bought it because it's a cheap Blu-ray player. Okay. I play a couple of games on it, God of War and Call of Duty, and that's it. You missed out on Uncharted? I have never played Uncharted. I, I Actually, yeah, I, I, I was at uh, E3 last year, and they let me play it early, and I wasn't impressed. Really? Yeah. I, I played it. I loved it. My wife played it. She didn't like it, but she liked watching it like, like it was a movie. 
And she would want to. She'd be like, Woody, you know, I want to know what happens next. Just start playing. And I'd, we'd sit in the bed together. I'd play, and she'd enjoy the show. Hmm. Like, it, it, yeah, I liked it. Um, That's a good quality in a, in a, in a mate. I like this. <laughs> I wish I had somebody that was like, hey, Kyle, you want to play some Call of Duty? I want to see how this ends. <laughs> Jackie's like the perfect woman. She's very, very good. Yeah. As we were waiting for Wings to come, she brought me breakfast. Yeah, I'm sitting here starving. Sitting here starving. Yeah, because we've been waiting for Wings for three and a half hours now. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, so I guess that wraps up the console talk, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I, so I'll in the both. end, you're getting both. Yes. As much as... I, you're getting both, dude. I'm getting both. I'm, get, I'm getting both. You are. You're getting... <laughs> but no, you won't no be happy. I won't be happy. Yeah, I'm paying with I, a frown, goddammit. I am paying with a frown. I'm going to buy both, and the... I will... I'm going to buy both. There's no way around it. I yeah. wish that I could... If I'll tell you what, if the PlayStation had the online service of the Xbox, it would be a no-brainer. But now that we've actually, this conversation has cleared it up for me. You're right about the servers. I had that has slipped my mind a bit. But dude, and the keyboard the, and mouse thing. The keyboard and mouse thing is big too. Yeah, man, like that. And and to me, as a YouTuber who wants to be able to switch platforms all the time, like, look, if I wasn't on YouTube. I'd only play the Xbox, I think, and I'd only play with friends all the time. And it would be a social experience as much as it was a gaming experience. That's what gaming was like before YouTube for me. And I had I had a bunch of friends. I talk during games, and I tend to be, like, helpful and nice. And my friends list would fill up super quick. And, you know, people would want to, like, hey, you know, can I play with you afterwards or something? Like, every time a round ended, they'd, we'd friend up, and it'd be cool. And And my gaming experience was always very social, and I always had a bunch of guys online who wanted to play. Um, but because I'm on YouTube and I, I like to check out different games and platforms and check out this other stuff, the keyboard and mouse thing is huge. I'd love to be able to bounce between platforms and use the same set of controls. I'd, that would be good for me. Yeah. I wish there were a decent adapter so I could use my Xbox controller with the PlayStation three. I, I, I have one, but there's lag in it. Do you? Oh, okay. I know the one you're talking about. There's one called the XIM3 that's supposed to be great, but I don't. I don't. I even have one. I just never set it up. I should check it out. Yeah. It, oh, and it, it, by the way, isn't for controller switching. It's for using a keyboard and mouse. And you should be able to use oh. keyboard and mouse anywhere. So you can you you can be a keyboard and mouse player on um on the console today. But I just I haven't set it up. That'd be a cool video for Tech Tuesday. You know what would be a cool video for Tech Tuesday? Yeah. Oh. On, we're just talking forever here, but on um, Tech Tuesday, everyone complains about my handwriting, and apparently, and this seems like a silly thing to me, they, they're they not a fan of my forearm hair. I don't know. Oh. Something about my forearm hair is not uh, fitting the bill. I think you've got a lot of uh, subscribers who, are, who have yet to hit that point where you grow... You know, a normal amount of forearm hair. I'm looking <laughs> at mine right now. They're pretty hairy. Well, thanks. I appreciate the backup. But I bought a oh. Wacom tablet so that I'll be able to, like, draw with a pen but not have my arm in the picture. And I'm interested in how my so, – like, is that cool? Or is, or is there something personable about the whiteboard? We'll see how people react. Yeah. yeah. And I thought you were going to say you bought, like, a trimmer and you're going to trim those arms. <laughs> So I bought this Wacom trimmer, and it's going to – I'm going to put it on about a three, about a three, tone things down a bit. You want my pro tip? If something's too hairy, yet you still want it to have hair, then what you want is shorter hair. Like, for example, like if your forearms are – like, let's say your thighs are super hairy, and you, you're just – you're one step away from an ape, and this is a problem for you. You can't shave your thighs because nope. that – that doesn't – it's not what guy thighs typically look like unless you're a cyclist nope. or a swimmer. So what you want to do is make your hairs shorter, and then your – all that hair you have won't look quite as dense when it's – Less the, surface area. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about here. Just That's, ask Mr. Tryhard. <laughs> well, wait. Did he shave his legs? No, he trims them like super close it looks like. It looks like he took like a, a beard trimmer and put it on like – 
maybe the second to lowest setting and just went to town on his legs. Is that what he did? I assume that it was growing in, like he had shaved it a week ago. I, I, I He trims it, almost certainly. He trims it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he had this... He kept talking about how disgusting guys were. He's like, guys are disgusting. We're hairy, we're dirty, we're smelly, we're this, we're that. And I'm like, dude, like, I don't know. Like, on one hand, it seemed a little bit anti-male. On the other hand, it seemed just really, really hetero. Like, this guy is 0% interested in guys. Maybe. Yeah, absolutely not at all. Yeah, he just like, guys are horrible. <laughs> like, wow. You really hate guys, like it from. I don't know. You can't really go on his opinions too much. You, you, you I love we. So, Mister I try hard is from Canada, and uh-huh. uh, <laughs> and we're not. And so we got into this discussion. We were all in person. We were in Chicago, and we're talking about uh, we're talking about stuff you know to do with nationality yeah, we're and like national, national pride. pride. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, you know what we made in Canada? You right. know the arm on the space shuttle. We made that. It's an articulating <laughs> arm that reaches out and grabs satellites in orbit. And I was like, wow, that 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 is really cool. You know that space shuttle that <laughs> flies to fucking outer space and it comes back? And the satellite you're grabbing? That was yeah, us. <laughs> that was us. That's our shit. Well, um, the Russians had the first satellite, but it's our satellite the arm's grabbing. Love you, Mr. I Try Hard. Love you, man. But Canada, <laughs> Canada's... You, you guys don't invent stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Maple syrup or something? I don't know. I, You know, hockey. stuff like that. They made hockey, and hockey's awesome. Did they invent hockey? I'm going to assume. I don't know. I bet they didn't. I bet it's like Sweden or something. They perfected it. Nova Scotia. Ah, oh, they did. Oh. You looked it up? Yeah. Nicely done. All right, shall I be the douchebag that ends this sort of like PKA thing that we're doing? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so, so this is a. I guess they can put fuck wings in the comments, right? Oh boy, if they make it this far, should they? Re- no, let's make it nicer. Rest in peace, wings. Yes, yes. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay, it's perfectly fine to say fuck Kyle. <laughs> Wings gets a a, a a a respectful rest in peace. Wings for you not showing up. a strong point. I don't know. It's. It, you want to talk about that for a little? I want to talk about that. All right. All Here's right. one thing I've discovered about uh, like. It, I, I want to say being on YouTube or, or just being recorded a lot. I did a video like a little over a year ago, I think, where I was saying that unsub Woody made me crazy. And how I finally understood your pain with F. Kyle. Right? Did you just see this video by chance? Yes. Yeah, and I did it in this frantic, like, oh my god, I'm going crazy in this net. The problem is, people have assumed that that's the way I always feel all the time for the rest of my life. When in reality, like, I'm kind of over it. Like, I see on Woody, it means nothing to me. I feel like the bulk of my dis- subscribers are in on the joke now. Whereas... At the time, it was like two weeks old, and you know they were like, "Why are people unsubbing Woody? Why are you so mean? Is it just because whatever is Katie was only five in this game?" And it, um, but it, now it's, it's said and done, and I, I really don't care. But I'm curious: Do you still really hate F. Kyle? Um, nah, I guess not. I don't really care. I'm. The internet really thickens your skin. So you, oh, you said yeah. this in a commentary yesterday or the day before. You were talking about how like this generation <laughs> has tougher skin because of the internet. It, we are the toughest of the tough of our gen- of this generation. <laughs> we're on the we're on the front lines. We are taking the flack. So you know, there's you you can never make everybody happy. So there's always somebody that's pissed off. I see on this video, there's going to be somebody that's like, wait till the fucking console comes out, bro. Then make your decisions. Yeah, no. there's someone who's going to hate everything we something about everything we said this entire commentary. And that person, yeah. I encourage you to come over and lick my balls. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're sitting here having a, a friendly, happy conversation for the I entertainment know. of others about these consoles with all of the information that is at hand. And that makes some people furious, just 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 shaking with anger <laughs> having to somewhere. And it's if everybody just took a deep breath and smiled. If you smile when you type, you'll type nicer things. Try that one out. <laughs> the like ratio on this video will suck 
And I don't even take it like it was a time where I really cared about my like ratio and it bothered me and stuff. Now I feel like the like ratio has almost as much to well even more to do with the commentary topic than it does with me. Right? Like if I put out a video and it helps other people, it'll have a very high like ratio. If I put out a video like I did on Thursday, maybe where I say I'm glad Rob Stark is dead. That fucker was too love struck. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm done with him. Then all of a sudden it's like the worst like ratio I've had all year, but they don't hate me. They just love Rob Stark and they want yeah. him back. Yeah. I don't want him back. I, I, I gotta agree with you. At first I was a little like, dang, they killed him. That was kind of like our, that was like your, he was the good guy. He was the knight in shining armor. He was the classic good guy. He is the, he is the guy who would win in a normal story. He mm-hmm. is the son. He is the son and heir of the guy who the king named um, his successor. You know, he mm-hmm. was de- beheaded by this whole criminal act and everything. He's the. We all know who the real king is. It's 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 Danny. She's the she is the true heir to the throne. It's it is her. Like her people were the king before. Daenerys is the were, dragon chick, right? Yeah, yeah. She was. Her people were the rulers of this empire. Before the new leadership that that's in there now, and then after her, then then it's the bastard son of the king who died, and after him it's it was Rob Stark whose head they cut cut off or not Rob Stark. Um, Wait, the bastard son? Because to me, the king who died named Ned, and then Ned died, so it should be Rob Stark. I feel like it should be the bastard son. Jon Snow? No, the one with leeches on his cock. Oh. He is the bastard son of the of the of the king. Oh, I don't know if he's eligible. Yeah, totally eligible. As a bastard son, you can be king. I think so. Oh. He's the closest thing to an to a to an heir. It seems to me. It seems to me that he should be the king right now. It now. But instead, he has a mutilated penis. Ah, that'll heal up. No. Who ha- who hasn't had? No, no, no. Not he, she. Just put a leech on it. Wait, we're thinking of some of the wrong guy, I think. I'm talking about the guy that's being tortured. He was Yeah, that guy's done for. That guy's done. He doesn't get anything. He's like from the I don't know, some other land. Oh, by the, the bastard sea. son is the one that the fire god took and brought yeah. in and brought the leeches and stuff. I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. That fire chick is hot as shit. That's just I've seen just, her boobs. Yes, we all have. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I look at actresses now, and I'm like, I've seen her boobs. I've said, nope. And it's like, got him, got him, need him, need him, got him. There's so the list. It came out the other day that they didn't name names, but they said that one of the main actresses from the show had requested to do no more further nude scenes because she quote didn't want to be she wanted to be known for her acting talent and not her breasts. And it's widely believed that it is Daenerys. No. Uh, that it's 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 the rumor is that we have seen the last of her nude body after her getting out of the bath the other day. Oh, fuck Game of Thrones now. <laughs> <laughs> body double? Do something. Well, uh, I, I, we've already seen her naked. You're gonna have a hard time finding a perfect body double. I'm gonna recognize those tits. Yeah. It, at the start of Game of Thrones, they're like, this thing's rated mature, it has, like, bad language, naked people, death and dismemberment, and I'm like, this is all my favorite shit. Like, this is this is the makings of a really good show. And if, if they're going to take off naked Daenerys, then they're taking a step backwards. I feel the same way. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, anyway, on the like ratio thing... It's going to have a horrible like ratio. It's because we talk about console wars, and everyone who loves either the PS4 or the Xbox One uh, is going to take offense at something we said. Yeah, I don't understand fanboy uh, fanboys. I don't get it. Um, these nope. people who who run these big corporations, these big game studios, they don't care about you. They don't care that you're a fanboy. They just don't. They're they're out to make a profit. And there's nothing wrong with that, but they don't care that you're a PlayStation fanboy. You bought. It's not if they gave you a PlayStation. If they were like, hey. Jimmy, we want you to be part of the PlayStation Nation. Here's a P- PS4. Right. Then, then you have a reason to be to be loyal. If, if but Jimmy's a out sponsored and... PlayStation player and they give him free stuff or perhaps even money, then you should be loyal. If you just bought your stuff, yeah, yeah man, you, you bought that. That's the same. Yeah, I mean, you're you know, in charge, and, consumer. And and we never grow out of it. You see, you see rednecks all the time with this Ford and Chevy crap. Who cares? I'll buy the one that looks best. I, right. That's I, I think Chevrolets are. 
I think Chevrolets <laughs> are better. Right now, I'm driving a Ford. Fuck, who cares? Wait, you're driving a nice... Ford right now? Oh, no, I'm not, am I? No, you drive uh, a Chevy. Yeah, I'm driving a Chevy. That's you right. You have two okay. Chevys. Yeah, I thought, it, for some reason, I was thinking of my that truck as a Ford. I just blew it's the transmission. Not. I just blew the transmission out of one of my Chevrolets. On Do that I red Chevrolet one? Now? Um, no, on the silver one. Have I seen that one? The one I drove to Chicago. Okay. I'm confused. But that one wasn't at your house when I went over. Which one? The red one was there. You had a red truck and a Camaro. I don't know why that red truck was there. Who's red, whose truck is the red truck? That's not my truck. The red truck's not my truck. I can't the, keep uh, up with your car. You're worse than wings. <laughs> I've only got a... I, I've got four cars. The um, Okay, single person. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, man. Gotta, gotta get... I gotta have a few cars, um, but the the uh, I've got this silver four door Chevrolet with the cloth seats that I drove to Chicago, and and then I've got the buggy, and then I've got the Camaro, and you know I got I got a couple cars, you know. Yep, I know the other one too, the old one. So you were saying fuck, fuck lefty then. <laughs> oh, how are we gonna do this? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, Lefty's been a reliable host. Uh, should we just go down the list on Subwoody? Rest in peace, Wings. Racist Lefty. I think we should focus our our, our hate and anger on Wings. That seems like the the, the correct place. Um, or maybe someone who is completely not even related to any of this. Like, let's like maybe do that. Like, let's do yeah. that. Yeah. Should if we... you've made it this far, fuck Rob Stark. Yeah, fuck Rob Stark. That's a good one. All right, let's do that. All right, if you made it this far in the commentary somehow, please drop an F Rob Stark in the comments, and uh, have a good day. Yep.